Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at how you and your person are currently thinking about each other. What are the energies between you? Also, the person that you might be dealing with in the future could come up here as well. So let's jump right in. Spirit Angels Guides. What do we need to know for Cancer? For the sign of Cancer. Regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. At this time, what do we need to know? Regarding love, what do we need to know about the person Cancer is thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know for Cancer? Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching 100%. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, mutual energies, the Four of Cups and Death. Scorpio energy with death there. On your side, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. Nice offer there. On your person's side, we have Judgment. Hmm. And the Three of Wands. Judgment with the Three of Wands. Overall energy, why everything is happening, we have the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Okay, Cancer. I feel like with Judgment and the Three of Wands, Judgment is all about looking back at the past, having realizations, awakenings about your past lessons, the lessons you've learned over your journey, and also about resurrecting, revival, right? Bringing something back up. Um, but with the Three of Wands here, Three of Wands is like waiting for a result. It's like someone, well, I'm going to say your person because this is their energy. It's like your person is waiting for some sort of revival or realization or waiting to make a judgment call of some sort. We'll have to clarify and see what that's all about. However, on your side, I see commitment, tradition, proposals, um, doing things the right way. I don't know if you're expecting commitment from this person. Maybe you're already in a commitment with this person, hoping for something stable with this person because it's like, I feel like you already know what it is that you want and where you're at. I feel like there's a lot of like centered energy here, whereas this energy is more kind of up in the air. Now the overall root for why everything is happening happening is the king of cups they tend to be very like emotionally mature they wear their heart on their sleeve compassionate loving um so you could be dealing with someone that is a water sign or this is your energy what's the energy overall between cancer and this individual and i feel like there are some changes or endings that are happening here with the death card so it's like a lot's going on here, Cancer. Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. And then we have like parting ways at the bottom of the deck here. This is a card all about separation, divide, heartbreak. Hmm. I feel someone's making some sort of a decision regarding a separation. Let's use um, an Ever After Oracle. This is um, a brand new deck. I'm actually using two brand new decks today. My Ever After Oracle and my PS I Love You Oracle. They're not out yet. I'm still working on them, tweaking them, but when they're available, I will announce it. These will be on my Etsy shop. I'll be selling them myself. So all those details will come out later on. Um, I will announce it on my Instagram and on my website, um, as well as here on the channel. So. You will find out when they're available. Tell me more about the energies between Cancer and this other person. What are the energies here, Spirit? Magic Wand, Transformation, Hope, Solutions. Okay, so I feel like there is someone... Okay, so with Poetic Justice and Magic Wand, I'm getting that someone wants some uh, a decision to be fair. 
um, for something to change, transform, having hope for a solution. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Tall tale, fabrication, exaggeration, unreliable. Hmm. Kind of a red flag here, Cancer. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, someone could be unreliable here. Maybe there is an interference that makes things a little bit difficult. But this card is all about kind of, you know, someone that promises more than they can deliver, essentially. They're giving you a nice tall tale. It could be that someone has a lot of hope for change. Um, they might be wanting to transform something in this connection. They might be wanting justice in this connection, but can they deliver? Can that actually truly happen? Bottom of the deck, we have magic lamp, wishes, choices, desires. So I feel like this is what someone wants. Um, but I'm getting like, is it too good to be true energy here? Let's get some clarity. Let's clarify these energies. Can I get some insight, please, spare for Cancer? We'll start with this King of Cups because I feel like they're the ones, they're kind of setting things in motion here. Someone could just have a lot of feelings for another person and that's setting things in motion as well. One more, please. Now the Four of Cups is here and this is someone that's not happy, not satisfied. You know, I feel like you're both it's just like you're both on different pages here, but I'm not sure why just yet. Let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? The Chariot. There you are, Cancer. Movement, um, being on the path to success, having a goal, a plan to succeed. Tell me about the King of Cups. Wanting to make a move as well with the Chariot. And strength, Leo energy, courage, strength to make this move. Yeah, the hangman. Hmm. Now your person does have the three of wands. So I'm starting to wonder if this is them needing to make some sort of a move, but they're kind of waiting for the right time, hesitating, waiting for uh, the right moment, the green light. Tell me about the chariot. a lot of major arcana here tell me about the chariot the ten of wands someone could be weighed down have burdens obligations things that they need to like wrap up or deal with before getting on this chariot hmm. tell me about the four of cups well the high priestess so someone here could be um questioning things, not having a lot of clarity, things are not being really communicated in the open uh, with the Four of Cups and the High Priestess. Tell me about the Four of Cups. What else can you tell me? The Queen of Cups. So I feel like the Queen of Cups is not happy with this King of Cups. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's sadness, disappointment. I feel like I'm getting a story here. Someone's not happy in this connection. Someone's dissatisfied. Someone is not really open to anything new. They're kind of focused on what they have, what they've already experienced. Um, I feel like, you know, let me know where you fall, Cancer. I don't know if you're the one that's disappointed or if it's this person. But I feel like someone has been kind of let down here with the Five of Cups. And there's the King of Cups again. Maybe you've been let down by this King of Cups energy. Both of your energies are here, Cancer, because this is mutual energies. So you can have a mix of both energies here. But I find it fascinating that the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups showed up here. Almost as if to say this is between a partnership, a pair. And the High Priestess is secret knowledge. It's things that are not communicated. Um, it's mysterious elements, um, intuitive elements. You know, So it's like things that aren't really expressed 
the high priestess is not very vocal. She's not very expressive. So I feel like you might be kind of disappointed at what you're not hearing or what you don't know, perhaps. It's like maybe things are going on behind the scenes, but you don't see them. Tell me about death. Scorpio energy here. Why is death here? Tell me about death. The Knight of Swords. Communication. Maybe this is communicating about an ending. Communicating about a transformation. Tell me about death. Talking about what has already taken place or something that needs to take place. That's way too many. I'm just going to take this bottom one. Five of Swords. Conflict. Deception. Not playing fair. Okay. Maybe somebody's telling you that there's still an issue here. Maybe you're talking about an issue that already exists. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. I want one more for this Knight of Swords, please. The Six of Swords. Leaving a situation behind. And there's a Two of Cups. Hmm... Maybe this, there's um, a situation that your person is telling you they need to leave behind or they're working on leaving something behind, walking away from something or someone. Walking away from a partnership or walking towards a partner. I feel like if this is someone that's told you they are leaving another person or leaving a job or leaving a location, I feel like you've been waiting for this with the Four of Cups here. It's like you're becoming more disinterested the more time goes on or you're just not happy, not satisfied. The Four of Cups isn't satisfied. So let's look at both of your energies here. Cancer, I have you on the left and I have your person on the right, but feel free to um, flip the energies because they can be interchangeable. Tell me about the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. What can you tell me about the higher fine, the Ace of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles again. Can I get one more? Interesting, because the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles to me are complete opposite energies. The Five of Pentacles is about needing resources, right? You need help. You're looking for help. You're out in the cold, struggling, trying to find shelter trying to get assistance you have some sort of a loss right you don't have money you don't have resources whereas the ace of pentacles is like an opportunity resources material goods money you know so it's like they're opposite tell me about the higher font and the ace of pentacles please the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy and the four of wands what's this Seven of Cups. Okay, uh, the world's at the bottom of the deck. So, Cancer, I feel you've been waiting for an Ace of Pentacles, but right now you only have a Five of Pentacles. I feel like you have a lot of questions with the Seven of Cups. How is this going to go? What choices will this person make? What choices will I make? I feel like there's a lot of potential. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I feel like you are very um, motivated or attracted to this idea or this person. It's like this is what you would like to have. Stability, a happy home, marriage perhaps, um, something stable long term. Um, but I feel like right now you're, I, I, I just don't feel like you have that just yet. Some of you could already be in a commitment and you're not very happy there. So you're thinking about another possibility for you, um, for your life, you know. But I feel like more than anything, you've been promised or have an idea of an Ace of Pentacles in mind. But you're at a Five of Pentacles right now. You're, you don't have that yet. And let me know if I'm right about that in the comments. But I feel like that's what you would like. A stable, happy home with your person. Some A Four of Wands. An Ace of Pentacles with your person. And I think it's this potential for a new beginning that kind of keeps you here. Because the world's at the bottom of the deck and the world is ending a chapter to have a new chapter. 
You know, it's it's a give and take here with the world. You know, you're kind of ready for that next step, graduating into that next level. But I find it fascinating that we have tall tail here. I tall tail here. I can't ignore that. And I can't ignore the parting ways at the bottom of the deck here as well. And the death card is here. So it's almost like there's um there's a couple of things that are taking place at the same time that you have to also be aware of. So let's look at your person's energy here. Tell me about judgment and the three of wands spirit. The hangman, see the hangman shows up again for your person. The hangman is not someone that takes action. They're kind of hanging around, looking at things differently, getting perspective, um, gaining knowledge in a way, enlightenment. And there's the emperor, Aries energy. But they're not really doing anything or communicating either. either. And then there's the emperor. I'm just going to take the bottom one. There's the world again. Wow, look at all this major arcana. The emperor is the opposite of the hangman. The emperor, they, in their mind, they already have all of the information. They just need to go out there and do something about it. The emperor is this divine masculine energy that takes charge, right? They take charge of the situation. Um, they would definitely be one to open this door, this chapter with the world to get something started. Tell me about the emperor. The emperor does not, it's not this three of wands. The fool showed up, interesting. The emperor is not a three of wands. The three of wands is somebody that they're kind of waiting for the results. They're waiting for a message back. They're waiting for an outcome. Uh, the emperor is like, I don't care what happens. I'm going out there. I'm doing whatever it takes. I already know how to go about this situation. I'm wise. I am determined. I'm going to have the authority to make things happen. You know, that's the emperor. Tell me about this emperor. Wow, the tower and the two of cups with the five of cups again at the bottom of the deck. I feel like your person, there's a couple ways to interpret this. They could have caused a tower between your connection, right? Like there was a tower that happened uh, while you were with this person or they need to take charge and cause a tower here. There's two ways to look at this, right? And it's gonna affect a connection or it's gonna affect a partnership of some sort. Now I have a, my instinct is to say this tower already happened between you because judgment is here. Um, so maybe your person's having regrets over a tower that already took place and maybe they wanna make things right with the magic wand and poetic justice, right? Some sort of transformation and a solution for to make things right for a problem, right? Like a problem that already happened. This is my wish, this is my wish granted to not no longer be parted from my cancer. That's the energy that makes the most sense to me. But of course, all of you are dealing with different situations. It could also be that this person has promised to take care of a problem, but tall tale is here. Remember, something's off here. Either they're, they made a promise they couldn't keep, or they've led you on in some way, or they definitely do believe they can make this happen, but they've kept you waiting when it comes time to make decisions and actions, right? Let's get some PS I love you's here for both of you to wrap this up. And then I am going to uh, extend this reading. I'm gonna look at what can you expect next overall in this connection, but also what is this person's next specific move towards you and what are their intentions towards you? We'll be looking at that in the extended. It's linked in the description box. So let's jump right in here and get some insight into your energies. Remember, these energies can be inter interchangeable. Tell me, uh, what is Cancer's energy towards this person, this connection spirit? Cancer's energy, please. I wish I could go back in time. All right, Cancer, so you know, you might be wanting to go back in time here, make some different decisions. This could also be how your person's feeling. Tell me more about Cancer's energy when it comes to this person, this connection. Our connection is divinely guided. So this could be a very special connection, Cancer. You might have some sort of soulmate ties here, twin flames, if you believe in that, or past life re re connection. There could be a strong bond between you, right? You feel like this is, you're guided to be together. Um, 
Okay, tell me about Cancer's person. What do we need to know about this person's connection towards Cancer, energies towards Cancer? Heartfelt apology. So this person might need to apologize to you from the heart, an apology from the heart, an apology that's honest. What else? What else for this person's energy towards cancer? Unfinished business. So it could be that um, there's still some unresolved issues here between you and this person. Maybe there's things that need to be talked about. Closure is needed. Clarity is needed. There's unfinished business between you. And I just had a reading um, for Virgo that had unfinished business energy as well. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, check that out. It might resonate for you. Bottom of the deck, I'm going through a hard time. So this person's not happy. I feel like both of you aren't really happy. You know, wherever you are right now in your lives, I feel like both of you are not happy. And I think it's because you're not together. And there are other things in the way here. There's some sort of baggage here, some sort of issue. The Ten of Wands is here. And I feel like the Ten of Wands with the Chariot is kind of telling me like something's weighing down this Chariot. Something's weighing down, you know, this movement. Like the Chariot is all about quick movement. The Knight of Swords is about quick communication, right? And I feel like it's slowed down by something. And I think it's a, a departure is needed or there was a departure in the past that still affects this connection. And so, you know, there's many ways to look about around uh, many ways to look at this cancer. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, I can't even talk today. So that's what I have for you for this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos from me in your feed. And um, don't forget to check out the extended if you want to know more about where this is headed next. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.